CataractCoach.com, scleral suture fixation of a toric eye well, using the belt loop technique with polypropylene suture. Now remember the orientation matters. If you place it like the central frame here with the blue sutures, that will prevent any twisting of the IOL. That's very important. So look at that picture again. Now, marking out the eye here, our surgeon here is Abba Amin. She had a beautiful podcast yesterday with me on Cataract Coach. You got to check that out. And it's a great podcast. We talked about kind of crazy, complicated cases. And she brought up this case, which we're going to feature here today. Now, here comes the lens. So it's an eight-faking eye. You see a big mark down the cornea, that big linear line? That's probably from a prior ruptured globe. Now, that lens is sitting partly in the anterior chamber. Now, don't let it fall back in the vitreous cavity. You see there's an AC maintainer here. This patient from the trauma already had the lens removed, the couch removed. Oh, there goes the lens. Oh, be careful. Whew. Be very cautious with this. The patient's already had a full part plane of vitrectomy. If you let go of that lens, it gravity's taken over. That thing's sitting on the macula. Be very cautious here. So maybe here, even putting like a safety loop through one of those haptic holes would be a great idea. But going inside here, this is why these tough cases take time off your life. Like just watching that took a week off my life. Seeing that lens falling towards the macula, look at that. It's barely hanging on now. You've got a needle there through the haptic or under the haptic. Grab that thing. Bring a haptic outside the eye. Ooh, look at, where's the lens? Look at that. Wowza. Again, super stressful. And so now, finally, the lens is in good position. Here's a needle threading through that proline suture. That's polypropylene, probably like a 6-0 is what I'm guessing. And so now that's going to be used to form a loop around each of those haptic holes. Now, this is a neat lens. This lens has eyelets there. This is the Bausch & Lomb lens. has eyelets at the haptic-optic junction. And obviously, suturing through those is an off-label indication, but uh, being done in this case, and it's a torque lens. Now, getting that in there, here's the other end of that suture. The rest of the series is going to be pretty straightforward. The key is, of course, keeping your spaghetti straight. In other words, keeping all those sutures straight so you don't get any uh, knots in them so there we go bring these ends out and you'll do create some flanges there and you'll be able to secure this lens now very important here on these cases you got to be very cautious about letting this lens fall back again this patient's already had a full vitrectomy you got to set reasonable expectations i appreciate you're trying to do a technique here to help treat the patient's refractive error but, you know, that big scar on the cornea is probably going to play some role as well. Another option, if you don't want to do a case like this, which is very stressful, and I'm not looking to stress myself out either these days, you know what, maybe I could send this patient to my vitreinal colleague, or maybe I could do a sutured eye well, like four-point with Gore-Tex fixation, and then just choose an eye well power that's going to ensure the patient ends up myopic. Now, if the patient ends up Plano minus two dots of astigmatism at 90 degrees or whatever axis, that's a slam dunk PRK or LASIK. Really easy. That's a pure myopic ablation because the total sphere equivalent is on the minus side. That's a clean cylinder. Plano minus two at 90 is just a beautiful clean ablation. The patient will be happy. So that's another option to do a bioptics approach. Plus, remember that big laceration on the cornea may cause some irregular stigmatism. Here at the end, just cut these ends down, do some little uh, cautery, get that tightened up. There's the end of the case. Beautiful. Remember, check out that podcast. Every Sunday, it's a brand new podcast, and we try to feature a great video on Monday that's related to the podcast. It's everywhere we find podcast services. I promise you will learn a lot, and it's amazing.